All right, guys, we're back. Uh, there we go. Just adding in the day over there. So we're back. This is going to be day uh, one of my attempt at Michael Deering's Hardcore Challenge. And the first thing I'm going to do is I've got to go and make something right. Now, before I do this, let me see. Uh, now, as, as ASM guy noted in the comments, that torch right there, I think, is out of bounds. And certainly the one farther down there is as well. Both of them are. So I'm going to fall upon my sword. There we go. Let me just uh, drop that. And huh, huh, having done so, good. Uh, and I'm going to remove the offending torches. And make that right. Oops. If I get there. There we go. Oops. Come on. Uh, that's right on the edge, but... We'll go ahead and get rid of that one, and it's certainly these two. It's this guy, and this guy. So having done that, sorry for the darkness for a moment, let me go ahead and toss those two guys away, be gone, trouble me no more. And uh, I will get back on the straight and narrow. So I, by placing those two torches, I violated the prime directive of this challenge. But uh, So thank you, ASM guy, for mentioning that. Uh, I'm a rule follower, so I appreciate uh, you pointing that out as well. And uh, we're back instead. I took off the other one. As you, I'll explain that in just a minute as well. Uh, but it was the short version is we can go out to 15, really, when you come down to it. That was also in Michael's video. Michael uh, mentioned that we, can, um, we won't be excluded from the challenge for placing those torches. We just need to correct the mistake and, and move on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and get this cooking up because we want to do our, um, want to get going on a garden here shortly. So we'll do that. We're going to start, with, oh, hello. I was just about to say I haven't seen many mobs out here on there. Oops, I'm stuck there. There we go. There we go. All right. Uh, now, the other thing that was mentioned is that when you come right down to it, in order to do this properly, we're really looking... Aha, there's that egg. We're really looking this block. I hear you, zombie. You down there? Oh, yeah, you're back. Back in there some. Wow. Hmm... Got lots of places for you to be. I didn't realize that. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, that's good to know. All right. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Easily distracted. Especially with those sounds. Uh, long and the short of it is that this block, if I go to F3 real quick, you'll notice is actually at 16.68 uh, uh, 16.5 in the middle of the block, sort of 16.5. So this is actually outside of 16. In order to make it right, it really should be at 15, 15, right here. So we're going to fix that up too while we're at it. Now this one's a, a less of an issue because it was uh, it was easy to sort of get that one mixed around. But uh, we're going to go ahead and fix this up. I hear you. Just I think you're underground. All right. So we're going to do that. We'll move these guys in. The long-term long -term plan, or the plan for the, the next three, excuse me, the next uh, eight days, is to try to build, I think, four towers along the four edges, northeast, southwest, uh, the cardinal, uh, the cardinal points with a uh, hill-shaped garden in the middle. I'm not sure the hill-shaped garden will actually work in Minecraft. Um, I don't know if the mechanics will do it properly or not. Is that right? Yeah, good. Um, but we're going to give it a try. So we'll go get our water supply here in just a moment. Oh, there's water right there. Good to know. Um, and uh, get things moving here. So this should be 15, 15. And if all goes well, today I'll also try to get a fence going. So, uh, skeleton. Where are you? Is 
see sheep, I see spy chicken. Hmm. Okay, I'm just a little paranoid. Let's get this moved over. I wouldn't mind a skeleton, actually, if I can take it out. We'll be able to get one of those wolves, maybe. But, not for right now. So I hear you guys, I just can't see any of you. Let's go grab that iron. Make that bucket. There it is. I can get there eventually. And let's see. Go ahead and make this. Of course, if we die, everything's going to be on the ground anyway, so we'll, won't really make a difference. But, um, keep that. Alright, let's just sort of get moving. right over here as I recall. Good. And might want to start collecting some of those mushrooms as a secondary food source, but let's see what happens. We have to clear out this area. Around you gotta get rid of all these trees anyway. So for let me see what how we're doing here. Yeah, this is still in a good zone. Let's go ahead and take this out real quick. Still good. I'm gonna try to pay a lot more attention. Um, so while I'm doing this, I want to thank everybody who has taken the time to watch the video or uh, leave a comment and or leave a comment. I really appreciate all of that. That's a it's a fun thing to see. You know, somebody who's taken the time to respond and um, really wanted to say thank you for the welcome to this challenge this is a, an interesting group of folks very very friendly and it's a great challenge I was really quite disappointed to find uh, when I realized I screwed up the challenge I'm gonna go the long way again aren't I there we go um, and also because I'm just having fun with this so it's just it's a whole lot of fun to do this and it's fun to, to videotape it and share with others and watch up you know try to get a chance to watch us others do it and to see how everybody's going along um, how do I want to do this there we go uh, oops there we go. get in the right place uh, have I made a hoe yet no I haven't okay I need to go do that um, but first I'm gonna need a shovel oh I forgot where I was going hey it's been a long week and it's late on Friday night uh, I'm just trying to make sure I get the video out so hopefully I won't make any huge blunders uh, but I'm certainly very tired and not watching where I'm going so I need to try to be a little, lot more careful I hear that chicken up there I'm going to need more than that, I think. Let's go ahead and just do this while we're at it. Uh, and actually, now that I think about it, let's do this. And since we're going to have to clear out those trees, uh, I probably should make some armor, but you know. We're going to risk it. We need that axe, I think. Uh, I'm going to want to plant those as well. So while we're here, let's grab some of that. Oh my gosh, it's already getting dark. Oh, another egg. Yay. We probably should pin those guys in at some point here. So my thought... And it's going to run right into this area. Hmm. Well, we'll just deal with it as we go along. 
my thought is to do, you know, the water travels out four from, from a water source. My question and my curiosity is, uh, what I'd like to do is make a hill-shaped garden right here so that there would actually be, you know, a layer here and then actually probably a couple more layers up above. Will, if I do that, will the water still saturate out there? You know, will it, does it go simply up below the block or does it, does this uh, interrupt it? Looks like that's going okay. We'll see if those um, will also remain in good stead. If I can place this, let's go ahead and do that. And for no other reason, just I'm playing in the water already. Okay, yes, I'm still okay here. I'll just get this. You're going to follow me around, huh? Okay. Very friendly chickens on this map. There's my marker. There it is. Uh, in fact, I'll just go ahead and put it right on the marker. Pigs down there. Uh, still okay. Yes, right over there. Okay. Let's get, keep this area a little bit lit. We'll take these trees out here very shortly. Doing this all backwards, but that's all right. Uh, I'm hoping to get a little bit of this garden going. Yeah, you know, it does look like the hydration's going out there, so maybe this will work. Um, the idea would be to make a garden right here in the middle, and then at the uh, north, the southwest corners or uh, edges, go ahead and put a, a tower with a curved walkway that surrounds this um, layer of water down here, this uh, it's, uh, hill garden. Placing any seeds out of this. But it will mean I'm going to cover up part of this, so we'll have to catch that up as well. But we'll figure it out. Alright, let me finish. Uh, we got this one. No, we don't have this one. <laughs> Place the torch, take it up. So we'll, we'll actually be moving some of that dirt, but for right now, we'll let it be. Excuse me, ducks. Uh, duck. <laughs> they look like ducks to me, I'm sorry. All right, one, two, three, and four. Four. All right, um, I think the design I'm kind of have in mind. What am I going to do here? Let's, let's get reorganized here because I'm going to need that sword. In, sh in haste and won't have it. Uh, is that we'll got it? Uh, See? Oh, well, that's kind of funny. Okay. If you're going to stop, I won't. Right. Heart's going. Oop. We got a creeper spawn over there someplace, it looks like, because you keep coming from that direction. Ooh, a little bit of lag there. And. Thank you. Yes, heart is definitely running now. Anything else? Whew. Okay. Um, let's eat before things get out of hand again. I uh, probably don't need that right now. All right. Good gosh. The day's flying away. I'm not going to get very far on this episode. I. Don't think, but that's life. Um, so I think the, uh, I drew out the plan and now I can't remember, but I think what we're gonna end up with is, you know, these three planted here and then, you know, the next layer up would be right next to that. So there'd be some, there'd be planting at the layer up. Uh, I, I probably should just go ahead and do this because I'm too tired to explain it well. Still well within all of the placements. Gonna need some of this. Alright. 
So then let's go ahead and get the rest of this planted. I'll have to make an alternate entrance, I think, to that. So let me just... For right now, so we're going to do those three. Can I have more seeds for that? All right. Ooh, another egg. Gotta go get that sugar cane and find a cow. And I'll be set for food. Alright, so then if we do uh, the thing I'm going to want to do right now, just to get it moving. Um, I'll have to move it later, but that's right. I was thinking about it. We only have three hours of time. Nine, nine Minecraft days, 20 minutes each. We don't have that much time to do stuff. Uh, and I'm a slow builder anyway, so I'm going to be really under the gun to get anything done. Uh, actually built and stay alive in these 24 hours, or these uh, 9 days. Um, and I've got a very slow start already. And food and other things are of concern. So it's going to be a very interesting challenge, and I'm very excited to do this. While I'm doing this, so let me see if then if I can... The thought is to, I'm going to have to get some more water here. The thought is then is to do uh, I wrote it out on a paper and can't quite recall exactly what I mean to do. So I think for This one, I think that's kind of what I was thinking. Why do I feel like I'm so far out there? All right, one, two, three. Oh, I just haven't finished this. Okay. All right, now we're going to take out that tree here just to move that anyway. One, two, three. All right, we'll dig up some more of this dirt while we're at it. Um. And I just thought I'd, I thought it'd be kind of fun to make a. Oh, there's a creeper over there. Uh, I'm gonna just come in daytime. A uh, a hill shaped garden that the towers would surround and have a um, what do you call it? A uh, probably a cobblestone walkway around that. But uh, let's get this tree out of here in the meantime. Keep listening for sounds and don't hear anything. I'll tell you a little bit about myself while we're at this. Uh, I've been playing Minecraft for about two years. I mentioned that last time. Um, my son, uh, I have a young son who also plays Minecraft. He started playing uh, soon after I did. Uh, we started off on the Pocket Edition for about six months. And then uh, after watching some YouTube videos and stuff, uh, graduated on to the PC version. So we've been playing that for quite a while. Uh, he's my mod guy. He loves the mods. Uh, pretty much any, you know, he loves watching you know, the Diamond Mine Card and uh, Popular MMO, those kind of guys. And he, uh, every mod he sees, he wants to get. So we, uh, we played with a lot of mods and tried them out. He loves playing in survival and does a great job with that. And he came over and we're, we were playing on Mine Squish uh, together for a while. He doesn't play on there as much. Uh, I do tend to go on there more often. Um, and we've started to make some videos. Uh, he likes to do mob reviews. Uh, and I try to edit them and get them up there. I've got a bunch in the can that I need to... A um, bunch of them that are recorded. Okay, this isn't going to work for me the way I want to. Uh, and um, so we're trying to get some more of those up. I'm enjoying doing kind of a Let's Play series. I'm brand new to the YouTube kind of part of this. Do it for the fun of it. And... and uh, do enjoy it and learned a lot. Oh, there we go. Um, watching uh, watching some of Troy Boys and Jade's work. So you guys are uh, great mentors. And uh, just having some fun with that, doing some let's plays and stuff like that. I want to do sort of a storyline, a, a storybook version of a video uh, about a, about a uh, character. 
So I'm hoping to start working on that at some point. Um, my creativity is not so much about around building things. So I'm a, a mediocre builder, um, but I'm trying to learn to do better. And so that's part of what I, I work on is to try to do something a little different. Oops. And there, there's the day. I've already run through the day. Day two. All right. I hear the zombie. Let me make sure I'm not going to die. Okay, there's day two. So we'll be recording a little bit more. Hopefully I'll be a little bit more lucid next time. Uh, I'm going to try to record a little bit more in advance, but I needed to get this up tonight. Um, haven't really got a whole lot done. I need to finish plotting out this place and get the, get the uh, borders up. But this is the day. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And we'll try to do something a little bit more interesting uh, or at least more clear next time. Appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.